In this video, I'm going to show you how to make money online by testing websites. And this is a really fun way to make money online. I've been doing this for about five years now, since about 2017. I've been using this specific website to do it, and I've made over $3,000 doing it. Now, I do this in my spare time. This is by no means a thing that I do full time. I don't spend a whole lot of time on it. And I'll show you here in a second um, the results that I'm getting on it. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. So this is a website. It's called usertesting.com. And it's probably pretty cool because it will, it's, a, it's a platform that allows companies to um, have people like you sign up for it and then they can you or you can go ahead and test their website so what they'll do is they'll come out and say okay we have a prototype for a website we want to know what you think of it and they'll ask you some questions about the website how did you like doing this how did you like doing that look over the website what catches your eye and the thing that you need to do with user testing is just think out loud um, everything that you're thinking you need to say and you will do just fine. I have a five-star rating on it. Um, I've kept that five-star rating the whole time that I've been using user testing. And the really cool thing about it is the higher your rating is, the more tests that you're gonna get. You do have to be qualified to get these tests. They do have a qualification process and I'll show you that in just a second as well. So let me go in and I'll show you the uh, user testing dashboard. This is this is the, the, the main page right here. Uh, go to usertesting.com or click the description, the link in the description. It's gonna take you straight to this page right here where you can sign up here this uh, get paid as to get paid to test just click that and then you will be able to sign up uh, there's a few things that you have to do in order to get approved and that is uh, put in your information you've got to do a practice test when you first sign up and that practice test they'll show you everything that you need to do uh, they'll give you some tips tricks pointers and uh, you'll do the practice test. You'll submit that practice practice test to user testing, and then user testing will go ahead and manually review that, and then they will go ahead and accept your your application based on that uh, uh, test that you uh, have done. If for some reason that test is not good enough, or you need to be refined, needs to be tweaked a little bit, they will let you know. They'll say you know this test does not meet our uh, qualifications at this time however you have the chance to do another one they'll tell you exactly what you need to um, they'll, they'll say tell you exactly what you need to change and then you'll be able to submit another test okay so with all that done let's go ahead and go inside the dashboard and i'll show you what's in user testing so this is my dashboard this is my completed test and this is proof that you do get paid. I get paid for every one of these that I do. This is paid through PayPal. And the most, um, the most regular ones, the best ones to do are the $10 ones. There are some $4 ones in here. $4 ones are very, very short. They're like five minutes long. So the $4 ones are very short. Sometimes the $10 ones can be short as well. But... Uh, not all of them uh, are short. Could be anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes to a half hour. I've seen sometimes with the $10 ones, but still, $10 for a half hour really isn't that bad. And I'm I'm happy to do those. They're really really fun to do, and I enjoy it. So um, the this is proof here that I do get paid for these. And um, if I scroll down here, um, there's quite a few of them. And they do give you star ratings as well. Most of them do not get rated by the client by their clients. However, you do get ratings. Um, if they like your stuff, they'll give you a five star rating or a four star rating. If they don't like what you did, they'll give you a one or two star rating. If they give you a one or two star rating, user testing will jump in and they will manually review your test and they will decide on whether your test warranted that one or two star rating because your rating system determines how many tests you are going to receive. So um, 
I'm going to, let's go all the way back to last and I'll show you how long. So this, okay, this goes all the way back to 2015. This was my first test and I get a five star rating on my first test. And they told me what I could do better and they paid me $3 to do that. I'm not sure if they still pay the $3 to do the first test or not. Not sure about that but it looks like they did back in uh, February of 2015. That was seven years ago. I've been doing this for seven years. No, no, uh, by no means full-time stuff. Okay, so um, we'll go to available test and these are the tests that um, they will send you. They'll give you moderated chances for moderated studies up here where you can uh, submit a survey so this one is for an Android phone. I have an Android phone and you can do these on desktop. You can do these on tablets. You can do these on phones. And this one's a $10 one. So I have to have the Android phone open, the app open in order to accept this one. This is a $4 one and I'm gonna kind of show you exactly what you need to do. Uh, this one's a $10 one and they ask you questions and you have to be uh, qualified in order to do it. So let's go ahead and this is only two questions. Which of the following account types do you have? And you know, you just go ahead and ask the question. So I'm going to get, go ahead and answer this and then it'll tell you we appreciate the effort. It could take a, a while to find a good match. So I wasn't qualified for that one. I'll just go ahead and go to the next one. This one looks like it's about the same one. So I'll click that. Then it says, if it's not you, it's them. This one isn't a match. So, um, and then you'll just go through and uh, see what you're qualified for. If you do get one that's qualified, then you will go in and um, you do have to have a uh, microphone. So uh, they recommend a headset. Um, I do, I have a uh, Logitech headset that I use. I think it was $35. I'll go ahead and uh, link to that down below in the description. It works perfect for me. Um, it really cancels out noise in the background. Uh, just kind of be in a, in a uh, quiet environment to begin with and you won't have any trouble. So if you're looking for a decent headset that's really not expensive, um, I'll go ahead and link that down below to whatever, to the Logitech one that I have. And it works great for me and I haven't had any problems with that. So um, that's pretty much user testing in a nutshell. Um, go ahead, sign up for it and take your practice test. Um, and I think you have to verify your email. And then after that, you're ready to go. So um, they'll go ahead and give you your tips and tell you what you need to work on uh, after your uh, your test is complete. So uh, take, the, take their um, advice. I'm gonna go ahead and do another video after this one. I do, as you can see here, um, let me click up here and show you, I do have a five-star rating. I've held that five-star rating the whole way through my user testing time that I've been doing it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you my tips and tricks on how you can get five-star ratings on user testings. I'm going to do that video here in, within a day or two. So if you're watching this video and I don't have that uh, video up yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. That way you get notified whenever I put that video up. Also like this, uh, like this um, video if you did find this video helpful to you. Um, comment down below if uh, you're finding user testing working for you. I would love to hear your success stories, how much you're making with it. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.